Hi guys, Hedia here, and today I want to make a video on the sudo command for Unix based systems. The sudo command is available on Mac systems for Apple, BSD systems for the Apache licensed distros, and for the Linux systems. Basically, any Unix system has the ability to use the sudo command. And what it does is, is that, it, that it allows a user to execute a command as a super user or another user as specified in the sudoers file. What does that mean? Well, for example, say I want to update my system. I did not type in sudo, so I'm running the system as the Hedia user. And it tells me that permission is denied because I do not have root privileges currently for the Hedia account. However, my account Hedia is in my sudoers file, so it is eligible to escalate privileges to root user. And because it is in the sudoers file, I can type in sudo apt get update, which prompts me for the password for my account. After I enter that in, the command runs, it updates my system, and there you go. Basically, if you want to check that your user has escalation privileges to become a super user, what you can do is, while you're in that account, type in sudo-l, and if you see this line here, all, colon, all, space, all, that means your account is able to use the sudo command and is able to become a root user. And basically, if you want to add a user to the sudo's file, the sudo errors file, you can do that by typing in sudo vi sudo to see the sudo errors file. And as you can see, under the user privilege specification, the root user is here, as well as my uh, user account, Hedia, is here. The rest I'm going to block out, because I just want that this is kind of a private file. Anyway, this opens it up in nano, so if you don't see your user here, but you want your user to have escalation privileges, make sure you add in the username, followed by a tab, and then all equals parentheses all colon all space all. And then save the file with control with control O, yes, and then control X. And doing so will add your account to the sudoers file. But you must be careful that if you add in the wrong account to the sudoers file, then let's just say that if you put in an account that's supposed to be a guest account to sudoers, then anybody using that guest account can use root privileges on your machine, which creates a security vulnerability. Another way to add a user, a specific user to the sudoers file, is to use the following command user mod dash a capital G sudo and then you enter the name of the account. So in this case it will be Hedia. And doing so will add Hedia to the uh, sudoers file. The same way I just did in v sudo, but in this case, since I'm already there, I don't need to run the command. To become the root user, and I don't mean root user as in just I'm typing in the sudo command to run a program as a command as root. I'm, ta I mean, I'm talking about to actually become in the state of the root user. What you can do is, right now I am in the Hedia account. If I type in who am I? To become the root user of your system, type in sudo su. And now, instead of saying hedia at hedia, it saves root at hedia. So just to verify, if I type in who am I again, it says I am now the root. So while it says root at hedia, it means I am running the following commands in the terminal as the root account and not the hedia account. And if you want to exit this state, just type in exit. And then we are back to Hedia again, just to verify. And you can also run the command. You can run a command as a different user by using the dash u switch. So, who am I? Hedia, just to clarify it. Actually, let me just clear this up. 
the my hedia. Currently hedia sudo dash u. And then in this case, you would type in the different user's name and then the command's name. And if you run this, it should basically run the command as a different user. Right now, I don't have any other users in my system other than Hedia. So to demonstrate this, I'm gonna say root and then run who am I. Who am I is the command I want to run. And now it says that I am root, but as you can see, the terminal that was Hedia, despite the output being root. So this command was run from the root user and not from the Hedia user, if that makes sense to you guys. And another way to enter the root state is by typing in sudo dash s, which basically brings you up to root again. Or you can type in sudo bash and that also brings you to your root state. And if you want to repeat the previous commands, you can type in sudo exclama double exclamation mark. And doing so basically runs the previous command prior to this. So behind before this command, the last command I ran was exit. But exit is not really a command you enter, it's a command to exit a state. So the last main command was sudo bash. And doing so, well actually no, exit would be the previous command, sorry about this, but I was running it as root, I just realized this right now. The last command I ran as hedia was sudo bash, which is why it ran sudo bash, and I am root again. However, if you want to run a previous command, so if I type in sudo double exclamation mark, it just clears the screen because the last command I did was clear. But if I want to run the command prior to that, I would type in sudo exclamation mark 2. And this is updating my system. Why? Huh, hold up. Sudo, oh come on, really it's running it in the background? Oh, sorry about this, there seems to be an error. Let me just restart the terminal. Okay, so sudo exclamation mark 2 wants me to run the upgrade command, but I didn't run that today at all, so I don't know why it's asking me for that. Let's try in a different one, sudo exclamation 3. Let me just type in the uh, password and it just clears it. Yeah, I don't know why I was going for the upgrade command, that was weird. But basically the number you put in after the first exclamation mark represents the number of steps back. So let's just say sudo who am I sudo apt update Oh there are some upgradable packages this time. Sudo just think of something bash exit so if I run sudo double exclamation mark it's the last command which was sudo bash but if I were to run sudo exclamation 3 it clears the screen sudo exclamation 2 would run the upgrade command, which this time does make sense because before I was running the bash, sudo bash, I ran upgrade, so it's the second previous one. But anyways, let's just move on before I get 
kind of annoying with this. So anyways, you can also run multiple commands on the sudo, on a single sudo line. So sudo, actually hang on, ls, I'm gonna censor this out, but cd downloads, ls is empty. So if I type in sudo ls colon, not colon, actually a yeah, semicolon, who am I, semicolon host name. Okay, ls returns empty because there's nothing in my downloads folder. Who am I returns Hedia, and the host name is also Hedia with a capital H. So it runs all three commands if you separate them by a semicolon. And yeah, basically you can use man sudo to visit the man page for sudo. And when you're done, just press Q and that'll bring you back to your terminal. Or you can just type in sudo h to show all the switches that sudo has. I'm not gonna go over all of them. Most of these you can just uh, try it on your own time, but one example is sudo capital V, a simple one. It'll show you the version of sudo I am running, dash u is for the user, capital U is for the other user, dash s which takes you to the shell, the bash shell, dash l lists the commands that you have the privileges for, that's how I was able to see all dash all. I haven't tried all of these but I've tried some of them and seem to be pretty consistent with what's there. And one last thing is if I type in sudo apt update. Right now you can see that it's not asking me for the password even though it should when you first run sudo for after you log into your machine. The reason for that is after you run sudo and enter your password there's a timer that ticks for, every, for how long you are not using the terminal and once that timer runs out you have to enter the password again when you type in sudo the next time. But if you type in any command before the timer runs out, then you don't have to add in the password each time. However, let's just say that you wanted to kill that timer quickly. You can do that by typing in sudo dash k. And now that I type in sudo apt update, it asks me for the password again. Well, I'm not going to do it because I already did it. So yeah, that's k dash capital K. If you type in dash lowercase k, like sudo dash k, it'll do the same thing, but it'll only run cancel the timer the next time you enter a command. Whereas capital K does it the moment you enter the dash k command. And honestly, that's all I wanted to cover for sudo for right now. So yeah, if you want to run, if you're ever trying to run a program from the command line and you it says permission is denied, try it as sudo. And there is an alternative to sudo called DOS, which is not installed by default in most Unix systems. It's installed in OpenBSD. For most other Unix systems, you'll have to download it separately. It's supposed to be a more secure and safe version of using sudo, made by the developers of OpenBSD but I'm gonna go over that in more detail in a separate video. For right now, I just wanted to go over sudo and all its basic functionality. So yeah, that's all I wanted to cover for today, and in a couple of days I'll be making a video on popular bash commands, bash shell commands for the terminal, which should be coming out probably this Saturday. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.